you're correct. Well, and you know it's downtown, right? It's not on the strip. I know, I okay. know. That's why I want to go there because I want to see other casinos fireworks. Yeah, yeah. And the best place to see it is at the Saka. All right. Hey everybody, it's Danny, Vegas Introvert. I wasn't going to vlog this trip to Seattle that followed my last trip to Vegas. Uh, Two-way heart eight, David, actually asked me if I was going to vlog. Uh, we went out for drinks and had a great time, met his wonderful partner and some friends of theirs. Uh, then I met Duffy today and I was like, oh, we got to get this on video. And then last night, before meeting David, I had an interesting lift ride. So I'm going to share those with y'all and maybe some other little clips and things. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye. Here I'm in Seattle for my work conference in a King Corner Suite at the W Seattle, 4th and Seneca. Here's my view. I get all these windows. Most of my time has been spent there at that desk working. Fun times. Okay, bye. All right, so I went to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery which I'll open this up and you'll see, and you can read it if you want, but ultimately uh, they wanted to open a place uh, that honored the coffee craft and uh, also included an Italian artisanal bakery. Uh, you'll see the immersive experience words that are required of anything new or different that must exist in the marketing paraphernalia. Hope you enjoy this video. And so I went to the conference for a little bit, and later that day I was meeting Two Way Heart Eight, David. And yeah, my Lyft driver started off with, I'm jealous of you going to dinner because it's making me think of my time in Vegas last week uh, when I was on vacation. And uh, yeah, just started talking about Vegas. And so I got about three minutes of our conversation here. He was very excited. He didn't want to let me out of the car. That's like I sat in the car for another like five plus minutes just talking to him about Vegas. Uh, that's pretty cool. So here it is. Enjoy. Oh, well, it's the same. Have you been to the D? Oh, no. Where's the D? The D is downtown. It's uh, owned by Derek Stevens. Uh -uh. And he owns Circa and he owns Golden Gate. Those three are together. Mm -hmm. So let me do this. God is good that I've met you. Yeah. I'm gonna go online right away when I get in my house, in my laptop, because a laptop fills more, more information than a cell phone. And I'm gonna see what's going on for the New Year's room because I'm pretty sure the way I saw that roof, rooftop top party, on Saturdays and Sundays, people come from downtown and go to Fremont to Saka to party there. Yeah. They are swimming pool. I bet you they're gonna be reservations too for the New Year's party. They're gonna have something on the swimming pool because they have the best swimming pool in Las Vegas. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. They have the best view of the city in Las Vegas. They're gonna have a reservation for them. So I want to know how they're gonna give me my $250. Maybe they might put it for future hotel rooms. Yeah. If I don't drink. Well, and I think you'll get it back if you don't spend it, but you do, you better ask. You better call them just to be sure. I'll tell you something else that gonna give more weight to what you just told me about uh, your, uh, the program. One guy posted a video he bought his room through Expedia oh. to go to Saka. When he got to the lab to check in, they told him we don't know about anything about it. Yeah, don't do that. So that told me that Saka is not part of any third party media for selling for their rooms. The guy said the customer said, the, the, the person who works out there, it's fine. You can call Expedia, we can give you your money back, but we didn't, we didn't get your money. This is the place, I'm going to make yes. it for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey sure. Daniel, it was my pleasure for sure. to Good meet luck. you, to find you, and to get some very vital information. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that was the best conversation I've had, because I love Vegas. Oh, let me tell you bro, <laughs> I don't drink, I don't, I, I, I like to go to Vegas, just to go to different hotels, sit down, drink, fly back. Yeah. You know, it's a, you have to enjoy life. That's right. You know? Yeah, uh, he did end that story talking about essentially why he doesn't drink and shared some personal family information, which I didn't think it was appropriate to film, so I stopped recording, but 
he was very excited about going to Circa. Um, and when I told him about the Legacy Club, he just could not calm down, which was cool. Like, I love to see people that are that excited about Vegas. So anyway, uh, yeah, very cool. Had a good time with David and his friends, his partner. Uh, didn't film any of it. I just went to a few bars in the neighborhood. And um, then today I went to lunch with Duffy. Um, and we went to, I believe it was called Pecos for barbecue, which is a Texan going anywhere for barbecue outside of Texas is nearly a sin, but it was pretty good. I can't complain. This customer service was great. The woman that took her order was all sorts of personality, so I love that. Uh, but we had a good conversation, and then uh, as he was taking me back to the convention, he decided to drop this little tidbit of information. So enjoy, and uh, then that's it. All right. Oh, I'll probably stick some food pictures right here. Boop, for Josh and Rachel. There you go. Um, yeah, enjoy the story. Bye. Okay, I wasn't, I'm not vlogging officially from Seattle, but I have Duffy here. Hi uh, there. We just learned that he is a world champion. Whirly ball player. Whirly ball. So you're going to tell us what whirly ball is. Whirly, and I'm not going to look at the camera because I'm driving. Yeah, he is driving. Whirly ball is track ball or lacrosse uh, oh, okay. sticks yeah. in bumper cars. <laughs> I paused because he was about to tell me and I didn't get the answer and I'm glad I waited. <laughs> um, okay, so... I played in a whirly ball league and it just so happened that the whirly ball championships came to my city and my team played in the D level okay. bracket and we it. won. So I have a jacket that says I'm a world championship whirly ball Oh, I feel like you need to wear this jacket in Vegas all the time. <laughs> also... I'm amazed. So, like, so, okay, so... There's amateur, so much there, I know. Am, amateur sports, even, like, in the gay leagues, they have ABCD, right? Um, and But I'm kind of amazed that in Whirly Ball... <laughs> Whirly Ball, there's that as well. There's yeah. tearing. So that's my that's my claim to fame. My unique... What is the bag. really good... What does the A-level Whirly Ball team look like? Like, do they have their own bumper cars that they fly no, in? No, they probably have matching shirts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm putting this out right now, y'all. We're, we're starting a whirly ball team. I'm just, we're starting. Duff's going to be the captain. It probably is, and we're going to beat him. That's it. We're starting our own. Duff's the captain. Okay. You can say bye. Bye. All right. <laughs>